reading the writing on the wall. That's today's lesson. At your convenience. Groceries, cigarettes, beer, wine, lottery. They lost the ultimate lottery. Being in business. They depended on what they were told. They voted that way. They voted for people that wanted to be in business. Look what happened. Now they can go to college and get a basket weaving degree, rack up a couple hundred thousand dollars student loans. They'll be in their 40s, basically unemployable. If they're lucky they can get their student loans canceled out. In the meantime, get some stimulus money. And when they go into a convenience store, just cringe because they used to own one. This is coming to your town. I'm not shitting you. These are everywhere in every state. Big town, small town, medium towns. But it's a disproportionate amount of small business in small towns. That hasn't made it. The hell the bars on the windows for that reminds him of the good old days when there was something in here that people could steal this is the ultimate sign of failure you're locking the doors to keep people from coming in and stealing what nothing you don't want to get sued for someone slipping and falling after breaking in your business that went tits up two years ago. Perhaps they should have taken a case of this home with them. Stress and anxiety relief. Sleepwalker. Irony. You're not going to find a better example today. These people are working at a dollar store now and pumping gas. And the last eight quarters of their social security is going to be tabulated on low wages so they're going to be working until the day they die this is a new economy pay attention <laughs>